The chaotic scene at Joppa Town High School Friday afternoon is giving way to silence. Classes canceled for several days this week after Warren Grant, a 15 year old student, was shot and killed inside a school bathroom. The suspect, Jalen Prince. While Prince is 16, he's being charged as an adult, facing first and second degree murder among assault and handgun charges. Hartford County Sheriff Jeff Gaylor says Prince is not a stranger to law enforcement. We had 10 interactions since 2022 where he was either the victim, the witness, or the suspect uh, in an incident involving just the Hartford County Sheriff's Office. Gaylor says those interactions date back to 2022. But because of Maryland's juvenile laws, the public has no idea what those incidents are. Raising questions, especially since during Prince's bail hearing Monday, it was revealed he has no criminal record. Tuesday, we went to Prince's house to try and find out more details, but... Hi there. Hey, yo, How's it going? We were told to leave. Typically, that is um, because juvenile um, uh, um, information is shielded. Sergeant Clyde Boatwright, president of the Maryland Fraternal Order of Police, says schools often don't know details about students' criminal history. Well, the way the Maryland law is um, structured, uh, if a person uh, has committed a crime heinous enough uh, for them to be charged as an adult, that becomes a public um, um, that becomes a public thing where it's it's readily available. The Department of Juvenile Services says confidentiality is a hallmark of the juvenile justice system, and there are reportable offenses requiring law enforcement to notify the school district superintendent when a student is arrested. Otherwise, DJS is prohibited from such notification. We followed up with DJS Tuesday asking a few more questions like how many students has DJS notified superintendents about ahead of this school year? How many different school systems have been notified this academic year? What does the notification process look like for communicating the student information to superintendents? No answers from DJS. Meanwhile, Boatwright says investigators don't want to tip their hands by talking about a case too soon before someone is arrested. But he says there should be a way to address safety and young offenders based on the crime itself. I just think that we can't treat those people that are stealing in order to survive the same as those that are making a decision to arm themselves with firearms and to hurt people. Boatwright says the area of the law could present a real opportunity for the General Assembly. Yes, I, I anticipate that this will be a hot topic moving into January. These policy discussions shaping up months before state lawmakers return to Annapolis next year. Now, going back to those questions that we sent to DJS, I have been in communication with the spokesperson, but so far we still don't have specific answers. I also reached out to the Harford County Public School System to see what their communication policy is. And again, we're awaiting some answers. Live in the newsroom, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.